We're going to turn to the latest on President Trump's refusal to concede defeat, delaying the transition to a Biden administration as his campaign challenges the ballot counts with no evidence of widespread fraud. As President-elect Joe Biden forges ahead, Mary Bruce is tracking all the latest for us. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Michael. Well, as President Trump is digging in, President-elect Joe Biden is trying to project calm and lower the temperature amid all of this uncertainty. But there is growing concern that the president's refusal to reckon with reality here could have serious repercussions. This morning, as President Trump continues to defy the outcome of the election, unwilling to admit defeat, President-elect Joe Biden is trying to reassure Americans that Trump won't derail his transition. We don't see anything in slowing us down quite frankly. He's forging ahead, even though the president still insists we will win. Trump has been holed up in the White House, filing long shot legal challenges, but he has yet to provide any evidence of widespread fraud. His administration refusing to take key steps to begin the transfer of power. The nation's top diplomat, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, perpetuating the false narrative that Trump could still win. Is the State Department currently preparing to engage with the Biden transition team? And if not, at what point does a delay hamper a smooth transition or pose a risk to national security? There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. While on the Hill Tuesday, Vice President Mike Pence also at odds with reality, refusing to comment or come to terms with the election results. Mr. Vice President, is it time to concede? Is there really any evidence of fraud? We asked the president-elect how he's planning to move forward with the transition. How will you uh, move ahead if the president continues to refuse to concede? We're going to do exactly what we'd be doing if he had conceded and said we've won, which we have. Uh, and so there's nothing really changing. But not ruling out legal action? No, I, I don't see a need for legal action, uh, quite frankly. So far, there is no evidence of any of the assertions made by the president or Secretary of State Pompeo. <laughs> Secretary of State Pompeo. And pressed on his message to Americans worried about Trump's refusal to concede. I just think it's an embarrassment, um, quite frankly. Uh, the only thing that, uh, how can I say this uh, tactfully? I, I think it will not help the president's legacy. Now, privately, people close to the president tell us that he knows this race is over, and yet he is still perpetuating this false narrative and dangerously undermining a peaceful transition of power. George. Hey, Mary, we should underscore this has never happened before in American history, and democracies depend on losers accepting the results of the election, yet the White House is going forward with these challenges, even though they know they can't succeed. Yeah, George, they know the math here. They know that there is no pathway to win through litigation. And so it's hard to say if they really have a clear strategy here, except to try and sow doubt in the legitimacy of a Biden presidency. The question then becomes really, how far is the president willing to go to undermine our electoral system? And does it do lasting damage beyond just a Biden presidency, George? Which was exactly the Russians' goals in interfering in this election. Okay, Mary Bruce, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News. You <clears throat> All right. Shalom. <laughs> All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kakwadash. Double honor to the Apostle, the Elders of the Great Millstone, who will well. Okay. This video is All the World's a Stage. <clears throat> because you got to remember, this is the Most High's movie. You know, he can do whatever he wants to do with this movie. <laughs> and it's, it's, it, things are heating up. We, you, we come into the climax or that, with that apex. We, we moving on up to it. Okay? <laughs> uh, and so, I'm, I'm going to just go into what it means to say all the world's a stage. Uh, it says, like several other phrases, the phrase was coined by William Shakespeare. Jacques has spoken this famous phrase in Act 2, Scene 7 of the play, As You Like It. He says, all the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. The meaning of this phrase is that this world is like a stage show, 
and all human beings are merely actors. In fact, this speech is a continuance of the idea given by Orlando earlier in the play. Okay, so we are the Most High's vessels. We are his creation. We are the Most High Power Yahweh's vessels, creations, and we are doing what, what he programmed us to do, you know. We're acting out our particular roles in his movie. So that's why literally all the world is literally a stage, okay? So I want to get, uh, this is Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. It says, the king's heart is in the hand of the Most High. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So no matter who's in power, who's in authority, who's in rulership, it's in the Most High's hand. You know, and he, he can do whatever he want to do with it. If he wants to have them just fuck off the kingdom, you know, fuck off their rulership, he, he'll do that. If he wants to have them just, you know, let, you know, uh, relieve it easily or relinquish it easily, he can do that. If he want to have them go down with a war, he can do that. Okay? Same thing with this uh, election and uh, this, so, you know, selections in the White House business. You know, or the new presidency. You know, if he want to have Trump, you know, continue on in there, no matter what, <laughs> he can do that. If you want to have Biden continue in Trump's stead, and then Trump fights Biden over the particular, uh, you know, that position, he can do that. You got to remember, this is the Most Highest movie. All the world's a stage. And however he wrote it, is how it's going to play out. Okay. Um, let's see, I want to get Romans nine. All right, this is Romans chapter nine, starting at 21. Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? What if the Most High willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. Okay? So, at the end of the day, by the end of this movie, everything that's being done in this earth is for the glory of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's it. All glory goes to the Most High Power Yahweh through His Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Everything is for His for their glory. All right? So, that's why I continue to, continue to say He can do whatever He wants to do with His creation because we are the creation. He is the creator. Got me? All right. Uh, let's see. I also wanted to get Ecclesiasticus of Sirach chapter 33. It's verse 14. Good is set against Salaki. I'm actually starting at 13. As the clay is in the potter's hand, the most high, to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him, to render to them as he liketh him best. Good is set against evil, life against death, so the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. Okay? He can do whatever he want to do, because we are in his hands, and he fashioned us to what pleases him, unto his pleasure. Okay? So, to be honest with you, uh, we... we you know, if if you have this truth, you have the understanding of what's going on, that's the best, it's the greatest gift that you can have because no matter what, our trust is in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we want the kingdom to come. And we know that no matter who is in office, whether it's Donald Trump or DJ Trump, you know, nasty ass Biden or Mickey Mouse, Popeye the Sailor Man, you know, whoever the, whoever they want to put in office. We know that the prophecies which were stated are going to come to pass. 
before the end come. And we know that that we're looking at the signs out in the world and looking at the signs of the times and discerning them. We know that 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 time is is near upon us. OK, so be thankful for that. Be blessed. And I always remember uh, all the world's a stage and we are merely just the actors. All right. Hope you're edified. Shalom.